Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, chapter of Red Dead Redemption. It is I, Edgar. And uh, last time we helped Louisa and Abraham do s some more uh, aiding of the rebellions. We took out a supply convoy and we robbed an armored train. Um, just slowly but surely progressing the way of the war. Uh, before we get going on the missions, I'm going to go to... Escalera really quickly to check to see if the particular revolver that I wanted to buy is on sale. Also, in the last episode, whenever John was pulling all that money out of the safe, he pulled out bags and it added up to like $300 and he pulled out a little letter. That letter is a pardon letter, which you can use to excuse, absolve your bounty and, you know, keep, you know, the law from coming after you. Uh... So, we've used one of those before with Seth. Uh, there's also... He also pulled out a gun. That gun is nothing special. It's just ammo. Like, I don't know why they added that in there. I swear at one point, it was actually this pistol right here. The semi-automatic pistol. But I guess it wasn't and I'm just tripping. Alright, let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff here. But yeah, that gun wasn't anything special. I swear at one point it was a semi-automatic pistol, but... I don't know. With updates, the game might have changed or something. It's been forever. Uh, the pistol's not available yet, but I will go ahead and buy this rifle. Uh, this rifle right here is, in my opinion, the best rifle. It is the bolt action rifle, that's just what it's called. Five rounds, obviously, bolt action. Uh, very high stopping power, very powerful, very reliable gun. And the Lamat revolver is actually a nine round revolver that I want to buy because I love it. Uh, it's got, I mean, it's got incredible reload speed, really good, really good power and accuracy. And it's just a good gun to have all around. Uh, what is my horse doing? Oh, there it is. Alright, now we'll go ahead and head out to a mission. And I think Luisa is actually our only option this time. So we will... Let's go. We need to leave town real quick so I can fast travel there. Um, also, another thing in the last episode that I didn't really talk about. Um, sorry. Um, but Abraham was talking about how in Mexico, you know, it's a place where not a lot of people at this time, you know, could read the newspaper. And it might still be the case in some, you know, provinces in Mexico. Maybe not 100%. Um, that may not be 100% accurate anymore. Um, but song is a very powerful form of communication for the people in Mexico. Uh, corridos, that's actually correct, um, are believed to hold more truth than uh, the media does. As far as like, you know, social issues and, you know, um, social issues, you know, govern, you know, political issues, um, you know, stuff that goes on, you know, you know, with organized crime and whatnot. Uh, there's a group, for example, called, uh, and David, you can throw up like an album picture or something, uh, called Los Tigres del Norte. Uh, they do a lot of corridos and a lot of people have praised them on their music because they address a lot of issue, a lot of social issues going on in Mexican homes. Um, they... I don't really want to name anything specific because I don't want to be wrong about it, but like they address a lot of issues and like they they speak a hundred like they speak with the truth with, when it comes to a lot of things like they're they're punk rock as fuck like they they talk about some they they address some real shit you know what I'm saying so like corrido a corrido and maybe maybe corridos aren't necessarily the only genre of, of you know Mexican music that do that. But a corrido speaks about as much truth to to uh, you know to a Mexican household 
then you know like say then you know say like uh, other forms of you know uh, music that do that for other ethnic households like I know rap music does it a lot um, what is it what is it? just music in general does it a lot John. nowadays John. anyway thank god you have come that wretched animal the Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulcro come we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers go now my men will show you the way I will stay with the coming and uh so going back to that yeah like it speaks it speaks uh it speaks a lot this is it speaks a lot of truth like another form of music that i can compare it to would be rap because uh, you know rap speaks a lot of issues addresses a lot of social issues um and uh now I hope you will have your revenge. I need him alive. He's got information on the men I'm looking for. And when you have the information, then he's all yours. Anyway, sorry. I just wanted to listen to that for a second. But yeah, corridos and rap, you know, they're like on that similar scale. And uh, it's funny because, uh, you know, they have the the connotations behind it. I, I don't know if I'm using that word right. I don't know. But there's a there's a lot of it's looked at negatively, you know, rap and um, what is it, corridos? You know, I guess by like older or maybe, but but they're looked at incorrectly because you know, like people say, oh, you know, if the the typical stereotype. Or at least it was when I was growing up. It's like, oh, you're listening to rap. You're a thug. You're a gangster. Uh, corridos, you know, in Mexico, it's like, oh, you're listening to corridos. You know, you're a fucking peasant. You know, you're you're a fucking peasant. You know, you're a drunk. Like, you know, there's a lot of negative things that are said to people who listen to those particular types of music. And I don't. It's strange because. I find it to be quite the opposite, you know? Like, I guess, in my opinion, if you're listening to, if you really, if you really listen to rap, and you really listen to corridos, you know, and you hear what the issues they're addressing, you're not ignorant or whatever the fuck anybody wants to say about you. You know, you're, I guess, what they could say, woke, you know? Like, you see, you see more than what's beyond you see more beyond the surface which is awesome all right let's get back to the game well oh, fuck i'm not trying to kill that bird hey, dude get out of the <laughs> jesus christ Okay. Yeah, if you just go around the left here, you can get behind him. You know, get a better angle at him. Okay. I accidentally shot him a couple times, but I guess that was a good thing because it kind of slowed him down. He will get a good ways uh, if you let him just run uninjured. So probably may want to shoot him in the leg or something. Just to slow him down. You fucking pig! Go back to your country! Where is Javier the square? Wait, wait, wait! Okay, alright, alright, shit! Alright! Casa Madruga! It's hold up there! Now hurry up and kill me! Or just let me go! Okay! 
Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like the pleasure yourself? All right. Please, I'll do anything. So you can kill him, and I don't think it actually affects your honor. Like, I don't think you gain or lose any of it. But you do gain if you just walk you away. Him, and it's more will. satisfying to watch them do it. So. No need for that, partner. Gases. He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Esto es para México! It is done. Come on. Now we find your friends. Are you crazy? This ain't nice. You cannot stop now. now. Okay. I wanted to loot him. I thought he might have a little bit Come more on. money on him, but it turns out he you does not. Thank you, compadre. It should really have been you. I don't like to kill a man on his knees, even if he does deserve it. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent dead, maybe thousands. He will burn to hell. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is with our leader. We must move on against the now before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Oh yeah, I forgot I did kill Espinosa uh, on that mission where the Santa betrayed me. Yeah, fuck that guy. Come on. Also, he said the army is without leaders. I wouldn't really call those men leaders. This piece of shit. What are you doing? We was friends once, long time ago. Not anymore. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? But maybe the girl is all occupied. It is a Viva la revolution! You ain't gonna live! Sígueme! Abraham Reyes! There we go. Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> go shoot up some place else. <coughs> <laughs> Damn, the Santa pulled one on us right before he died, that son of a bitch. Well, well. I was gonna loot those bodies, but I'm lazy. I don't feel like it right now. Alright, let's see. We got time for another one. Uh, other missions have yet to pop up. And now it's up. Maybe it was there a second ago and I'm just dumb. Where, where, where are you? Oh, there it is. I, I hate... I hate that the letters are white, man. I complained about this in... I think, like, Chapter 21? I can't remember. But damn. Yo, speaking of Chapter 21... Uh, thanks so much to those of you who tuned in and watched that. <clears throat> that video... That video, uh... Surprised me. It got, like, over 100 views. Which is insane... Uh, to me, anyway, considering how small my channel is right now. So I really appreciate that, guys. That was... <laughs> that was really motivating to see. I'm just like, damn, like, people really want to see this stuff. Made me... Made me feel good, you know what I mean? The gates of El Presidio. Ah! Uh -huh. 
Oh, excuse me. Ah. Oye, mamita, cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? And I'm me rougher, ¿eh? What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most... I just skipped the fucking cutscene. All right, here we go. Let's start it from here. to say about that who Luisa the girl from Campo Morada uh, all right a gentleman never tells but she was a most wonderful uh, I just say she was incredible yes let me tell you something I strongly recommend her you take her when you have the chance my brother <laughs> she thinks she's your wife my wife these peasant girls they believe every word a fellow says so naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, I huh? guess. The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. Come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for. Wow, what a piece of shit. Poor Luisa. She deserves better. Bien, vamos, hermano. My brother. I just received word of your fight with Allende's men at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. But well, why did you not kill him yourself when my men gave you the chance? I could see they wanted it more than I did. The Santa had given me what I needed, or I thought he had. A lot of young boys will sleep safer in their beds now. The Santa was only following orders. He was dumb and loyal to his awful master, but that's all he was. Is there any more dialogue? I don't. Where are oh, wait. they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, Joe. Can you believe it? The place we first met, the scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuella before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. 
That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right? When Dutch started falling apart, it hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once. But he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. We had a chance to save him. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that Cabron a surprise visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williamson. So who was that girl back there? Another loyal supporter of free Mexico. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Young? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. And for her, you will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breathe, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of reyes, of kings. I wish I'd never asked. Man, dude is really showing his true colors. Have you enjoy your time in Mexico, John? It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. That's so fucked up. <laughs> that is so fucked up. Jesus Christ. Man, fuck this guy. The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon he will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work... It will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life. But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. This motherfucker. <laughs> I swear. I am 
to say I am not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Ricketts. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Silence, John. It is so rare that we have it. In that case, I am skipping. This fucking guy. I'm kind of regretting having held him to get this far. I'm better than the army, I guess, but still a piece of shit. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Plenty long Remember enough, I think. Top, my friend. Bruh. Hello? They said to jump off! They said to jump off! Oh. It said to jump off, but it didn't look like. What the fuck? That's what I get for being a fucking sheep. Good luck, my brother. We and following the out. instructions. God damn it. Alright, I see where the fuse ends back there, so. Here we go. I should not have been able to survive that. Not. <laughs> I know exactly where he's at. He's over here. I'm here. I'll come for you. Uh, he's up here. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You. Took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so, now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. No, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die? Whoa. To save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you, even now. Who's 
Oh shit. Alright, so you can hog time or kill him. But once again, because we are doing the honorable playthrough, we will be only hog tying him. Let's go! I won't kill you, brother! He ain't here, brother. He's with a Jendi. Don't make me give you a beating. It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Finally, you have what you came for, my friend. Amigo, Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you all. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh, ah, oh, you puto. Oh, one day, one day I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Go. Yeah, go with your puto. <laughs> the army is Por coming. Aquí. Get up there and man that cannon. I'm ready now. We get to shoot <clears throat> our first cannon. Which, by the way, you can come to this base and shoot the fucking cannon as much as you want, but there's really nothing to fire it at, so. Uh, let's see how this works. Okay, so there's a little bit of an arc to it. There we go. Okay, take a little time. Here we go. Oh, fuck. I swear I was aiming at the same spot. Is it consistent? It looks like not a hundred percent consistent. Climbing down normally. <clears throat> Let's go get Javier real quick. Oh, okay, I can't jump over that. Interesting. Here we go. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> Those bastards.
Well, that's my time for today. Um, we just met Edgar Ross and Agent Ford. Had the two my sons of bitches that you know sent me out on this mission. Edgar Ross uh, should be a familiar character if you played Red Dead Redemption Two. He's uh, the mastermind behind behind getting a uh, getting John to do his dirty work for him. So yeah. But anyway, that's it for today. Uh, guys, don't forget, if you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. <clears throat> Hit the bell. Get notifications whenever we upload. And I am not helping that lady out. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time.